Hello everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video on my channel. So in this video, I will talk about the best resources from where you can learn machine learning. So machine learning has been very hot in the market. Uh, I'm sure all of you know the kind of job opportunities that uh, machine learning engineers have. And so I thought it would be it would be a great idea to create a dedicated video on that. So I also faced a lot of challenges in picking up machine learning in my college days. And today, as you know, I run a startup which is very focused on machine learning and AI. And so I will share my learnings about from where I picked up some of these resources. So I have a presentation with me. In this presentation, I will share uh, these resources. And these are basically courses which you can uh, go through and learn the curriculum. OK, so let's begin. So let me walk you through the first resource, which is basically a course on probability and statistics, right? Probability and statistics is extremely important for learning machine learning because uh, a lot of content, a lot of uh, educational material in machine learning, you will see it will involve the concepts of probability and statistics. Uh, for example, basically in machine learning, you need to predict the probability of some event happening, right? Basis that you can take a decision whether this is on one side of the decision boundary or on the other side. So don't get overwhelmed uh, by the concepts that I'm saying. Uh, there's an interesting course by MIT, which is MIT Open Courseware, and this course is completely free. And uh, this is by MIT, which is the world's best engineering institute, I would say, or rather world's best university. So the course is excellent, and you can pick up the concepts from this course very easily. Next, I'll talk about linear algebra. So a lot of machine learning is about data. These data is stored in the form of matrices and a lot of concepts involve matrix multiplication, matrix inversion, right? So a lot of things in machine learning are regarding that and especially optimization of matrices. So the parameters, the machine learning models, they are represented as matrices. The data is also represented in the form of matrices. And so essentially a machine learning algorithm is all about uh, calculating the value of these parameters. So if you are good at linear algebra, these things become much easier. Coursera has an excellent course on uh, linear algebra and you can take up this course. Uh, this, this course is a part of their some sort of machine learning specialization which you can opt for. But personally speaking, I think the course in itself is sufficient enough. Uh, you can try for their specialization, but uh, you don't have to uh, really do it. Uh, you can go for the sequence which I am suggesting. Next is this course which is Andrew Ng's course on machine learning. So Andrew Ng used to be a reputed professor at Stanford University. I don't know if he's still there. I think he was working on his own uh, startup. But the course he has created on machine learning still remains the best course on the concept, on the topic. So the, in the course, he teaches the theory. He teaches specific machine learning algorithms. And he also teaches a programming language called Octave in which one can apply some of these machine learning concepts to solve a problem. Uh, in the course, I think there was a small project also, which is on uh, one of the data set, which is called as MNIST data set. It's a data set of handwritten digits and the course is around classification of these handwritten digits or rather identification of these handwritten digits. So at the end of the course, you will also have a project to showcase on your resume, uh, which is, which is, which I mean, which will look good during internship interviews or during job interviews. Next is one of the course by Edvonix. So I personally love this site. Uh, Edvonix basically in this course they have a they have a course in machine learning by building projects. So I found this course very interesting because uh, look you know the theory by the Stanford course the previous course which I showed you would have learned theory. What would be interesting to have is a lot of projects of machine learning on your resume in order to get a relevant job. So this course has some four or five projects at which you can take up at your own pace and complete those projects. And once you have done that, you can put all of them on your resume. So I think that is what makes this uh, course far more interesting than uh, a typical pure theory based course. So you can go for it. So at the end of the day, I think the objective should be to know the concepts of machine learning, to be able to showcase projects on your resume. And in the interviews, which is a job interview or an internship interview, you should be able to talk about these projects, explain these projects, probably show some source code on GitHub, how these projects work. Expect some of the questions like, how do you further optimize the accuracy or whatever the metric you are trying to solve for, right? In handwritten digit classification, for example, if there is an error rate, uh, a certain accuracy mismatch uh, in the data set, how do you increase that further? If you've got 98% cases correct, how do you go 99%, right? So these kind of questions can be asked in the interview and so be prepared for that. Yeah, so that's about it. I think uh, this is 
very interesting topic of machine learning and uh, i hope these courses help you build a great career in machine learning and get a job uh, feel free to post any other topic in which you want me to create videos uh, i will soon be posting videos on web development app development uh, a couple of other topics as well and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like the videos thank you